No, I'm not even going to mince words. The Crisis Remastered okay. Platinum Trophy oh, is trash. The game does this weird stutter thing every single time you get a checkpoint, which is multiple in one level, so the game never feels smooth to play. The controls are terrible. The graphics are not very good. The ending boss fight was super frustrating. I mean, if I could actually see what I'm shooting, that'd be great. This game is trash. And the game crashed four times, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you keep in mind that it only took me seven hours to get the Platinum, that's actually quite a lot of crashes. Uh, the game crash? And because it was only seven hours, luckily, I didn't have to suffer for too long. Bro, what? What is with this game, man? It's so... Fucking crashes all the time, man. And although I needed to complete the campaign on the Delta difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty in the game, the game was still pretty easy. Well, outside of that boss fight that I mentioned. So let's go and get all 41 trophies. Join me as we Platinum Crisis Remastered, which leads straight into our first story trophy, a little trouble parking. Got this one for completing the first chapter, Contact. Nice, our first trophy. A little trouble parking. Discover the fate of Lucas Call. As we're continuing the story, we get following orders for completing three secondary objectives. These things are really difficult to miss. They pop up on the map. They just head over there and complete them. We'll also get a trophy for completing six and then a trophy for completing all of them. Nope. Oh, there's another trophy. Following orders. Complete three secondary objectives. Sweet. We then unlock our second story trophy, Easy Darling, for rescuing a hostage. Easy Darling, to you. We complete the second chapter, Recovery. We meet up with Prophet and unlock this trophy. Bro, I don't even know what's killing me. You knew. Another story trophy for completing the third chapter, Relic, a very strange readings. We get this for reaching the excavation site. Brilliant. The game crashed. You love to see it. Yeah, so far I am uh, not really enjoying this game. The controls are kind of crap. Combat's not very good. It kind of reminds me of a really, like a really bad Far Cry game. That's kind of vibes I'm getting. It's just a really boring, drab Far Cry game. Readings. We need to know what we're dealing with. Another story trophy here for completing the third no, man, chapter. Living it up to your team. name. You're I'm confused what's happening. It's like no sounds working it's properly. Hey, my C. You heard about profit. And for completing that story mission, we've now completed the first three chapters, which is Contact, Recovery, and Relic on the Delta difficulty. So we unlock Delta Act 1. For this next one, Zoology is for picking up an animal. I find a frog randomly on the side somewhere, pick it up, and that gives us another super difficult trophy. He picked up a crab. I got a trophy for it. S Zoology. Pick up an animal. Oh, God. Up oh, and I'm dead. For <laughs> God's sake. What is going on? This game is crap, man. As we're heading towards the next story objective, we get Marathon Man for speed sprinting three kilometers. We then destroy all the AA guns around the harbor for pro aircraft. Grab the trophy. This is my rifle for customizing a weapon and using all five modification points. Rack up a kill count of 200 enemies for special forces. Destroy the cruiser and enjoy the fireworks. Kills are inbound with tanks. Next, we get the second of the three trophies related to secondary objectives. This one's without question for completing six. Oh. Trophy. We then secure the train station, which gives us the trophy Empty Platform. So this one's in Chapter 5, Onslaught. As you're progressing through the mission, the game will kind of call out when you arrive at the train station. As soon as you get to the, the train station, there'll be enemies all over. Just kill them all. The trophy yours. Next, we killed an enemy from 200 meters away for long distance relationship. Oh my god, another trophy. Long distance relationship. Kill an enemy from 200 meters away. Then we're getting all the trophies right now. Destroyed five enemy tanks for Tank Buster. 
And not long after that, we got no fly zone for destroying five helicopters. For this next one, one careful owner. We needed to reach the end of the onslaught mission in the tank that we started in. So pretty self-explanatory. The tank that we're in from the beginning, just make sure you keep that tank all the way to the end. It sounds like it'd be difficult, but even if you die, you respawn pretty close. And when you respawn, you respawn with half of your health. So just keep that one tank and this one's yours. Once we reach the end of this mission, we get the trophy, you're on your own. We then get Perfect Soldier, which is for completing all the secondary objectives. We then enter the mines for going underground. What? I don't even... This game's so glitchy, it's unreal. This game, bro. Next, we defeat our first boss. It's on like General Kyong. We get this for defeating the boss. Really easy boss. Pretty bad. To be honest, you just hide behind the box. It's really that simple. Got him. It's on like General Kong. Kyong. Something like that. <laughs> that was an absolutely terrible boss fight. And for completing that mission, we get the Delta Act 2 trophy for complete the Assault, Onslaught and Awakening chapters on Delta difficulty. We then escape the mysterious structure under the mountains for I'm Coming Home. I'm coming home. We escort Profit to safety for the Expedition Team trophy. The hell is he doing? Okay. <laughs> Guy's just floating. Alright, let's get on the gun. It's not even in there, mate. Helena, you okay? oh. I'm trapped. The door wait, won't wait, open. What? I, can smell I just the looked door. in there and she wouldn't have been in there. What the hell? Okay then. We then help the Marines you, evacuate for I'm a Marine, Marine son. I'm a marine, son. It's another trophy for us. I don't understand what my vehicle's doing. After that, we get weapons master for performing a kill with every firearm. We then head into the mission that definitely caused me the most trouble, the most headache, and a little bit of rage. Did not enjoy this boss fight one bit. We get Strickland would be proud for defeating the flight deck invader. And then shortly after that, we get close encounter for securing victory in the Battle of Lingshan. I can't even see what's happening, bro. This is so bad. Oh my freaking god, finally. Strickland would be proud. Defeat the flight deck invader. That was so annoying. Holy crap. Bro, what? What is with this game, man? It's so crap. King crashes all the time, man. Deafening me, this. Oh my god, man, this is just pissing me off. I sure hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> Ditto. All right, keep us And every single time I die, I've just got away here go. <laughs> Ditto. Oh my god. Like, I just can't see what's happening. Oh my god, finally. Close encounter, secure victory in the battle, and then I died. Did I get a checkpoint? All right, thank God that's over. Holy cow, that was not fun. And once we've done all that, we completed the game. Boom, Delta Act 3. Completed the game now, and there's Crisis Controlled. Complete the game on any difficulty, and then Cool in a Crisis, which is for completing the game on hard. 
or Delta difficulty. Hell yeah. All right, so there it is. Game B, honestly. I don't want to mince words. I do not like this game. It crashed a lot. The combat felt poor. The graphics were poor. The performance were poor. It was just a really bad game, to be honest. But with that said, so now with step one complete, we beat the game. We've got a few extra trophies that we needed. So we're going to move on to step two and do the cleanup. The first one we get is something for every occasion for using all the weapon attachments. We then grab Team Raptor for killing 400 enemies. After that, I channel me in a Darth Vader and choke hold 20 enemies. Next, I go and slap up a Nano Suit Soldier with a Strength Punch for Knock Off Knockout. Boom! A Knock Off Knockout. Tag 30 enemies using the binoculars for Keen Observer. Unlock Catch This for killing enemies by throwing stuff at them. Boom. Catch This. Kill 10 enemies by throwing objects at them. And finally, the last trophy, which for me actually was really annoying. It literally took me about half an hour to get this, which was Nano Ninja. We needed to perform five consecutive kills without being spotted by the enemy. The sneaking in this game is absolutely atrocious. You'd think it'd be good because you can go invisible, so you should be able to just sneak up and do it really easy. But for whatever reason, the sneaking is horrendous. And as soon as you shoot an enemy, they either just don't die or they die, but then somehow the other enemy sees you for whatever reason. So yeah, this one was really annoying, but it was the last trophy, which got us our platinum trophy and we are done with this terrible game. Oh, there it is. Nano Ninja, that trophy had no right to be as difficult as it was, but you know what that means? Boom, the platinum trophy for Crisis Remastered. There it is. I've got one word. This game, trash. But that brings an end to another Platinum journey. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing, check out one of the other videos. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the next video.